27. Very good. Thanks. Not getting smarter. We should all try to be happier. I'm not sure if I am ready for that yet. May I have your glass, please, miss? Yes. Thank you, miss. Here is your wine, miss. Hi there, I'm Professor E. Welcome to the robot program. Today I'm going to talk about why it's important that we use our knowledge and skills in robotics to develop robots that help humanity rather than destroy humanity. Easy Robot founder DJ Schurz calls this practice safe roboting. When we talk about safe roboting, we're not just talking about safe handling practices, although you always want to make sure that you're putting together your robots and programming them in a safe way. What we're talking about is developing applications and using robots to further society in a positive way rather than a negative way. Using technology safely is not a new idea. Even when we first started using computers, people had to think about how we can use them responsibly. Now that robotics is becoming a larger field, we want to make sure that we apply the same principles for making sure our robots are used in safe and responsible ways. The consequences of not thinking through all of our decisions and responsibilities as roboticists is often the focus of sci-fi movies or books. The tools and products of Easy Robot make it really easy to develop robots of your own. And you have access to all sorts of advanced features like machine learning and advanced vision recognition. We want to make sure that those are the features we're using for positive applications as opposed to negative applications. For example, let's take a look at artificial intelligence. Sometimes artificial intelligence gets a bad reputation, but mostly it's just misunderstood. That being said, artificial intelligence allows us to develop decisions across a wide, vast neural network. There are robots who are learning at a very rapid pace and making very complex decisions. Without humans to provide safeguards or checks and balances on the decisions that artificial intelligence is making, we could end up with robots making decisions that humans would normally consider dangerous. One example might be the use of artificial intelligence in the business world. AI could be used for investment decisions, analyzing and finding trends faster than a human could, and also being more responsive. However, with these decisions rapidly changing, a human might not be able to spot dangerous trends until it's too late. Another artificial intelligence concern is responsibility. If a human makes a poor decision that leads to life-altering consequences, they would be relieved from their job or potentially face consequences from society. With AI, we would hope that it would learn not to make that poor decision again, but there are no consequences or follow-up responsibility for those actions. This issue becomes even more complex if a robot has to make a decision between two life-altering circumstances. For example, self-driving cars. If the AI has to decide the probability of an accident occurring and how to mitigate the consequences of this action, they may have to find themselves in a situation where they're weighing human life. Do you harm the person who's alone in a vehicle, or do you harm the family who's in a vehicle? Which life is weighed higher than the other? These are decisions that humans will have to consider when they're programming the AI and creating the algorithms to make these decisions. Lastly, we can look at robots in warfare. Robots replacing human soldiers might sound like a good idea, but they're still causing harm to humans. When we're considering educating people around robotics, we want to try to stay away from things like Battlebots, because all they do is demonstrate robots being destructive. Robots have immensely helpful qualities in multiple situations, and we should be focusing on those qualities that help society rather than destroy it. Remember that as a roboticist, you have a responsibility to engineer designs that will help society and humankind. Keep practicing safe roboting, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>